Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Hala Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Reka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who grew well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Quetas of Zion from the GMS Holland branch, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another prophecy of the day. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. God, so in this prophecy of the day, I want to go into Matthew 19, verse 30. And it reads, But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. God, so what this is going into is that many that are first shall be last. What that means is that the ones that are first, then who is first right now? Who is on the who is the head in this society? That's Esau. Esau, the so-called white man. So many that are first, meaning the first of Esau, they shall become last. They are going to be brought low, and the last shall become first. Let's go to Deuteronomy. And this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 44. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So this is what's happening right now. This is the society that we're living in, because we're under the curses. We didn't follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yerushai with all uh, um, gladness of heart. So we have now become the tail. We have become the last. And Esau, Edom, he's the head. He's the first. And uh, if you read in Deuteronomy 28, verse 13, this would have been the case if we would follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of Yahweh thy power, which I command thee this day, to observe them and to do them. But, as you know, we didn't do that, so, we had to come to Deuteronomy 28 and 44. We are now the tail. We are the last. But like we just read, the ones that, many that are first shall become last. And the ones that are last shall become first. So, the roles are going to be changed. It's going to be switched. The first of Esau, which are the so-called elites, you know, the Bilderbergs, the Gettys, the, the DuPonts, those ones, they are going to be brought low. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms 149, verse 8. Let's start at 5. But the point is in 8. Psalms 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. A two-edged sword, why? Because we are going to do damage. You know, we are going to take the kingdom. It's not going to be given to us like it says in, what was it, uh, Daniel 12 or Daniel 7. So, reading on. Verse 7, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the ones that are first, the, the, the elites, the so-called Illuminati. We're going to take them, the ones that survived the uh, nuclear missiles, you know, because they're going to be hiding in bunkers. But the ones that are going to survive, they're going to be the first ones to be... Uh, slap chains on you know we're gonna slap those chains on and those yokes and they are gonna be our slaves you see that's what the scripture says does says the bible to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron verse 9 to execute upon them the judgment written dishonor have all his saints praise ye yahweh basham yahushai you see so this is what's gonna come to them the first of esau 
because like I just said, they're going to try to hide from the intercontinental ballistic missiles and they're going to try to hide from Yahweh Shai. Revelations 6, verse 15 until 17. And it reads, And the kings of the earth, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, you see, these are the ones that are first, the, the, the first of Esau, the mighty men, and, the, and every bondman, and every freeman, hide, hid himself, so like I hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? See, so they're saying, Unto the mountains and the rocks fall upon us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, which that the person that sitteth on the throne, the Lamb, that's Yahweh Shai, which is a so called uh, dark skinned man, a so called black man, you know. He comes from the tribe of Judah. You see? And the Israelites, he's going to come to protect the Israelites. He's going to save the saints. He's going to save his elect. Which come from the 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And no other race. You know? Those are the, the races, the so-called races, that Yahweh Shai is going to come and save. And he's going to come and bring forth judgment to these other nations, to the heathen, to these people. You see? The first of these people. Because in the Illuminati, you also have Moabites. You also have um, Ishmaelites, Arabs. You know? So all these men, the, the so-called elites, they are going to be uh, put in chains. Because they are going to try to hide from the indignation of the Most High and the Most High Son, but uh, they're not going to be safe in their bunkers, man. They're not going to be safe in their underwater bunkers. They're not going to be safe in their spaceships or satellites, you know. Wherever they're going to hide, that's where um, the arm, the strong arm of Yahweh Shemeshai is going to find them, you see, and put them in chains. So this scripture shows you that they're going to be hiding in bunkers. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to Luke. Luke 16. Verse 19. And I'm going to read till 25. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and in fine linen and fared sumptuously, sumptuously every day. Let's go into that word sumptuously. Strong's G, 2988, La Prose, La Prose. La Prose, with the, outline, with the outline of biblical use, it says, splendidly, magnificently, uh, sumptuous, luxurious, you see? So that implies, that shows you that this is speaking about a, a rich man that is, that has it all, you know, that doesn't have anything to... to um, that he still desires because he already is living his dream you know everything he's living sumptuously he's living fabulously you know and that rich man in this scripture is, is uh, parabolic for the so called white man the, the elite of the so called white man you know they are the rich man verse 20 and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. Let's go into that word, Lazarus. 
because this is where it gets interesting. Strong's G, 2976, Lazarus, Lazarus. Lazarus, in the outline of the use, it says Lazarus, whom Yahweh helps. You see? So, the uh, Lazarus is symbolic for the people. It's representative, represent, uh, representation of the people that the Most High is going to help, which is his elect, you know? His elect is the one that he's going to come and save and help, you see? And the, the rich man, which is the, the, the elites of the white man, those, that comparison is being made right here. You see? So let's read on to see what's going to happen. Luke 16, verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. The dogs represent these other nations, you know, that also licked the sores of Lazarus, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, they're all making a profit off of us. You know, the the Elamite Moabite with with their wigs and with their stores and all the things that that they uh, sell to the Jacob descendants to the Jakes. You know, they're licking our sores. You know. Verse 22, And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments. And that torments, that, that's a uh, representation of the slavery that he's going to be in. You know, the rich man. And seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And that's that salvation. You know, we are going to, the elect of Yahu Basham Yahushai, they are going to be carried in the bosom, which means uh, they're going to be protected. You see? Let's go real quick to Psalms. Psalms 91. Verse 8, and it reads, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Gone. So only with your eyes the, the elect is going to behold the reward of the wicked because we are not going to be in the same um, situation as them. You know, we are going to be, Yahweh Tazar, that we are of that number, we are going to be carried away in the bosom, which is a representative, uh, a representation of the salvation that we're going to get. <clears throat> Which in Revelation. Revelation 11 and 12. It says. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them. Come up hither. And they ascended up to the heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. You see. So this is. Then the so-called elites, the elites of Esau, Edom, you know, the first of Esau and these other nations, they are going to be hold how the so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, the elect of Yahweh Shem is going to be beamed up. You see? So they're going to be in torment, which that torment represents slavery. First... Luke 16, verse 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and sent Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. That's the slavery that he's going through. Verse 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented, you see? So the, 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 this, um, trading places or changing places, you know, we are going to be comforted, but Esau, the first of Esau are going to be tormented, you know, and that's also for the, the whole nation because, um, Esau, he didn't spare any one of our nation. So the whole nation is ultimately going to go in slavery, but the first ones are going to be the, 
the first of Esau, you know, the kings and the noblemen and the, and the mighty men and the rich men, those men are going to be the first to go into slavery. You see? Gone. So this, Yaratazza, this was a quick video to the point, straight to the point, explaining what the Matthew 19 verse 30 means. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So Yaratazza, this video is edifying, and I want to say, Kal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha, Kodash, Shalom, Akim.